Hello everyone, my name is Sam Chenkin and I'm Director of Operations at Tech Impact. Today I'm going to show you how to attach files to email from SharePoint and OneDrive and the differences between doing that in the latest version of Outlook, Outlook 2016, versus older versions. It's gotten a lot easier. So I want to show you first probably how you're already attaching files. Let's go ahead and create a new email inside of Outlook. And if I click here on my Attach File dropdown, I can go to Browse This PC, and I can just navigate to where my files are. Now if you are not in SharePoint, probably those files are in a Map Network drive, maybe your P drive or your H drive, or maybe they're in your My Documents, right? So you just navigate to that, and you pick the file that you want to attach, and then you click Insert, and that attaches the file to my email. Now when you're in SharePoint, it works a little bit differently because those files are not stored on the local computer or in a Map Network drive. They're in SharePoint. So when you were using Outlook 2013, the way to attach a file was we're going to actually go to our application. Here is PowerPoint, for instance. And I'm just going to open up a file that I've worked in recently. This is SharePoint, and there's my OneDrive. So it is very easy to open up files that are stored in SharePoint. Let's go ahead and open up this recent file. And then when this file is open, I can very easily attach this to an email just by clicking on File, Share, Email. And then I can either send a link or I can send it as an attachment. And if I send as attachment, it's just going to pop open a new email there. And then here's my attached file and the size, and I can just put who it's to and then click Send. Not really very complicated. With Outlook 2016, it's gotten even easier. That's what I want to show you today. So if I open up Outlook again, let's create a new email. And then here under Attach File, it looks different than it probably does on your machine. So instead of just having files that are on my computer, I can actually access things that are in SharePoint or OneDrive directly. So here's that same presentation. It's automatically tracking all the files that I've opened recently. I can also go to Browse Web Locations, and I can browse directly into SharePoint or my OneDrive for Business right from here. So it makes it very, very easy to open up recent files. And if I just pick a file that I've worked on recently here, then I can actually just uh, automatically send a link for people to be able to edit. Or if I wanted to, I could change this and I could attach a copy to the email, or I could change permissions so that people can only view that file. And this makes it really easy to send files directly from Outlook rather than needing to go into the Office application. That's a new feature of Outlook 2016. Office 2016 is available online from TechSoup or directly as a download from Office 365.